guys so recently i opened up a pango shop over at in the app uh, pango books and i wanted to film a video kind of promoting a few of the things i'm selling over there to see if i can get some people interested and go and check out my shop so today i'm going to do a bit i guess it's a bit of an unhaul because all of the things i will be showing you i no longer want and i'm going to be selling them um so yeah let me show you what i have currently listed in my pingle shop and i'll be linking my pingle shop in the description down below too if you guys want to go check it out all right so first thing on the list is i have a lot of items from book subscription boxes that i don't really want or i don't see myself using so i wanted to go ahead and list them in case anybody else is interested um some of the items are from fairy loot and bookish box those are the main two book subscription boxes that i was subscribed to that i was getting items for and one of the items is this tote bag from the Blood and Ash series. I, this is originally from the Fairy Loot book subscription box. So this is one of the items that I'm currently selling. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing the pricing of what I'm listing these items for, you guys can go check out the shop. All of the information is already up on there. And then I'm also selling a few exclusive editions of books from those book subscription boxes. So I have this special edition of Fire with Fire, which is a fairy loot exclusive. And this one has uh, sprayed edges, it has it's signed by the author. Uh, it has a reverse dust jacket and it has a little gold foiling on the hardcover. So that one is also listed in the shop. Another book I'm listing is Together We Burn. This one I believe it's book bookish box. I don't remember. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's from Bookish Box. This one also has a reverse dust jacket, and it's it's pretty cool because you can completely flip it and use this as the cover if you want. And it also has designs on the actual hard hardback. And I'm not. I don't think this one signed. Oh, it is. This one signed as well. And also, I'm going to be including these two art prints that I got for that book. Those will be included with the purchase. Another book I have here is Year of the Reaping, and this is a fairy loot exclusive. And this one, I've included the little author's note with the art print that goes with the character for the book. Uh, this one has sprayed edges and also a design on the hardcover and a reverse disc jacket. So that's also up there. And then some books that I um, bought myself that I no longer want is one of them being the E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic. This is the uh, exclusive collector's edition. The exclusive collector's edition, which includes character art on the end papers on both sides. And it also has a little bookmark ribbon. So, yep. Single. And then I'm also going to be selling a few of my Holly Black books, um, specifically the Folk of the Air series, I think that's what it's called. I'm selling a Crow Prince, um, the Wicked King, and the How the King of Elham Learned to Hate Stories. I did read these, I just, and I did, I did like them, but I just don't see myself 
for reading them again, so I'd rather just list them up. So there's those, and then another book I'm selling is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, this one I'm just kind of lost interest. I'm, I don't really see myself reading this, so I figured I would just list it up. And then I have another special edition. This one is also from Fairy Loot Box of this Golden Flame. And this one has sprayed edges. It has an author's note with character art. And it has a reverse dust jacket and some designs on the hardcover. And it's also signed. Pretty much all these exclusive editions are only signed. I have a few final exclusive editions. I think these are the last ones that I have listed up. Um, one of them being The Coldest Touch, which was in a Fairy Loot exclusive. Or it's a Fairy Loot exclusive. It was in a Fairy Loot box. Um, this one's up for grabs. And then I also have Lore up. This was also from the Fairy Loot box. Um, this one has the exclusive cover. has the sprayed and stenciled edges. It has oops, character art with the author's note. It has end papers, a reverse dust jacket, and some... Um, foiling on the hardcover. So that one's up there too. And then the final exclusive edition is Only a Monster. Um, this one has the exclusive cover. It has, again, I'm, I'm always going to include the character art and the author's note if it came with it. Um, it has the sprayed edges. It's signed. Has the end papers, reverse dust jacket, and it has the design on the hardcover. So I believe those are the last exclusive edition books. And then the rest of the books I have are just ones that I bought that I just don't see myself reading anymore or that I just don't want in my collection. Um, one of them being Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. I did read this and I did enjoy it. Um, I actually bought two editions because I have the Barnes & Noble's exclusive edition. Um, so I'm selling the regular edition. And I'm including these character art prints of... What was his name? Wrath? <laughs> of Wrath in here. I got these from Bookish Box. So... Whoever gets this will also get the character art. And then another book that I got is We Free the Stars by Hafsav Faisal. I think I said that right. I'm sorry if I did it. Um, I read this, really liked it. This is actually um, one of my favorite duologies. Um, but I got this um, for free. I got it. I think in a giveaway so and I forgot that I had already bought in or I had already pre-ordered it when it was already coming out so I have two copies that I don't need so I'm just gonna be selling one of them and then another book I have is this high school musical the musical the series book um, I got this for free I don't even remember where but <laughs> Um, I have no interest reading this, so I figured I would just put it up and list it and see if anybody else is interested. I'm not sure. I assume it's like middle grade. I'm not sure though, but anyway, it's up there. Another book is You Had Me at Ola um, by Alexis Daria. Um, I read this. I liked it. I just don't see myself reading it again, so I figured I'd just put it up. And then another book that I got for free is this Artemis Fowl book. Um, again, not really interested in this. I think this is more middle grade, which I don't really read. So I figured I would just put it up as well. And then a duology that I'm selling is the... I don't remember what this 
Zoology is called. I think it's just the Savage Song series. Zoology. I'm selling both the Savage Song and our Dark Duet by um, V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab. Um, I read these. I like them. I just don't see myself rereading them again. It's pretty, more or less, the reasoning is pretty much the same for a lot of these books. Like, I read them, I like them, but I don't really want to keep them and I don't see myself reading them again. So, I'd rather just list them up. Then, another one I have is The Storm Crow by Kaylin Joseph. Jose, Josephson? Joseph? Josephson? Um, I read this. I liked it. You know the <laughs> I don't see myself reading this again. It was really good though. I think this is a duology as well. It was pretty good. Alright, another book I have is Speak the Graphic Novel. Um, I originally got this for school because I had taken a graphic novel course in college. Um, and this was one of the required readings. Um, and I did like it. I remember reading the regular novel back in like middle school, I think. And it's it's a really interesting story, I just don't really want to keep it and I don't see myself reading it again and even if I do, I'll probably just get it from the library, so I figured I would put this up as well. And then another book that was required reading was um, Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. This was a, it's a really nice um memoir told in verse um written like poetry and all that it's really nice i just again don't really want to keep it don't really want to um read it again so up for grabs as well another required reading was the nazi hunters by neil bascom this was a really interesting read um regarding the holocaust and all the events that happened back then um very informative very important read um again don't really want to keep it um and if i ever do want to revisit it i can just um borrow it from the library another another duology i have is the scythe duology um i think it's called the arc of the scythe i'm not sure what the Arc of, yeah, Arc of a Scythe. Theology, I have Scythe and Thunderhead. Um, I only have the first two because I bought, I just bought the first two and I read the third one, um, from the library. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. Um, sci-fi is not really my favorite genre, so I'm probably not going to reread these again. So, again, up for grabs. Another book I liked um, was The Weight of Feathers by Anna Marie McLemore. Um, this was a Romeo and Juliet um, retelling. It was really cute. I liked it, but I didn't love it. So, putting it up in my shop. And then another book. This one I actually didn't read but i'm not super interested in and it's the raven boys i know it's a really popular series um but i don't know i'm not super into magical realism and i know that's what this book is about um so i'd rather just put it up on my shop and also including with the book i'm in, um, adding in this little character sticker sheet that I got from Fairy Loo in one of the Fairy Loo boxes. Um, I figured I would just put it in there for whoever wants the book to have those stickers since I'm most likely not going to use them. And then the last two books I have are the Strange Planet and Stranger Planet graphic novels. Um, these were really popular comics on Twitter. I think they became really co uh, really popular on Twitter at first, and then the um, author or creator turned them into actual published books. Um, they're really cute. They're really funny, but um, I don't really want to keep them, um, so I'm listing them up as well. And then that's it for books. Um, 
I do have a couple of items from the bookish subscription boxes that um, I'm going to be listing up. One of the first things is this Crave inspired necklace. Um, it looks like this. It says bite me on one side and then it has a little flower symbol on the other side. I do have, I think, two character art prints. Um, that are inspired by Crave, so whoever buys this will also be getting those. I believe it is these two. This one and this one. So whoever gets those, whoever buys the necklace will be getting these as well as a like little freebies. Um, another item I have is this One, one Last Stop by Casey McQuiston watch necklace. Just this really cool like pocket watch necklace. I don't see myself ever wearing this or using it as decor or anything like that. So I figured I'd just list it up for anybody who wants it or is interested. I also have this other necklace from the Kingdom of Wounds. I have no idea what that book is. Um, but I also don't see myself wearing this. So I figured I'd just list it up as well. I have this little trinket, trinket dish <laughs> from um, the Last Hours trilogy. I believe it is James James Herndon. It's James Herndon. So it's just this little trinket dish. Um, pretty sure this came in the fairy loot box, and it just looks like this. And it's something that you can use to like put your jewelry in. Or little like miscellaneous items around your household so that is up as well on the shop then some other items I have specifically from the bookish box subscription are these zodiac candles so I have the Capricorn one the Pisces one I have the Gemini one and I have the Virgo one and then I can show you I'll show you one of them um, essentially they all kind of look like this they have a character from a specific book on it this one is Stolas from Kingdom of Runes oh fitting <laughs> Stolas from Kingdom of Runes so all of the other candles also have a different character um, and they just look like that um, in the listings on my shop I also included a little description of how they each smell in case you want to know how each of them smell um, so I also have that and then another thing I have is this monsters of verity puzzle this was from the fairy loot box and this is the puzzle itself. This is the print of the puzzle. So, if anyone likes puzzles and really likes this duology, if you want to buy this as well as the two books, the Savage Song and Our Dark Duet, feel free. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Um, another thing I have is this little like tea strainer that's inspired by Rhapsodic by Laura Elasa. And it's just this little silver metal strainer and it has a quote from the book on it and it says Bargainer, I would like to make a deal. So, honestly the quote sounds really interesting and it makes me want to read the book. <laughs> I just don't want to keep this because I don't really drink tea, especially loose tea, so I don't really have a need for this. So anybody else would like it feel free to get it um, another necklace I have is a murderous little creature necklace that's inspired from the blood and ash series I'm pretty sure and it just looks like this and it just says murderous little creature on it and the back is just plain so there's this too and then another item I have is this death bookmark. It's a character from I think it was like a river, a 
of Shadowless book or of Ever Enchanted book. I'm not, don't quite remember what book it was inspired after, but it's just this really like flexible plastic translucent bookmark of the character Death. So if anybody's interested, go ahead. I feel like I keep saying that. <laughs> y'all know the drill right another thing i have is this trinket dish um that's inspired from the cemetery boys picture and it has a quote on it and it says it wasn't the end it was a better beginning so i have this and this one is plastic and then the last thing i have is this tapestry from the We Hunt the Flame, We Free the Stars duology, and it's just a tapestry of the characters, the main characters in the book. And it's just this really big tapestry. It's really nice, really pretty, pretty colors. Um, I don't see myself putting it up in my room, so I'd rather just go ahead and list it up if anybody's interested. And that is pretty much all of the items that I have listed up in my shop. Again, I am will be linking my shop down below in the description if any of you guys are interested in checking these out. I know a couple of these things are already wishlisted by a lot of people and I think some of them are in some people's carts. Um, so by the time you're watching this, I'm not sure exactly what is still going to be up. But hopefully, um, you see this and you see something you like, um, you can go ahead and check it out on my shop. I think everything I have listed up is reasonably priced. I think some of these things I have it up for like $2, $3. Um, the exclusive editions are not that expensive. Exp expensive. I have them up cheaper than what they normally would cost at the store. Um, so yeah, go and check it out, get what you want before it sells out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!